Other side of the coin. Everything said here is highly speculative, and AI might also save us from other risks like pandemics, nuclear wars, climate change, or external threats. These types of predictions have always been made in the past when new disruptive technologies emerged, such as the Photoshop and generative AI fears that media should have already become useless as proof. It's obvious that superintelligent AI will probably be more incredible than the discovery of fire, with unthinkable benefits in every field, entertainment included. It's said that it would be the last human invention, as every other invention from that point on would be made by AI. Some also argue that super-intelligent AIs will enable us to achieve similar levels of intelligence through a machine-brain connection, thus possibly enabling us to understand what the machine is doing and keeping it under control, while potentially reducing the risk of conflict between humans through logic and reasoning. If this isn't the case, AI development might still be slowed down by several bottlenecks, giving humans more time to adapt to its changes. There's what's called a data wall, which consists of running out of internet data to feed these AI or the spending scale-up problem, which consists of the need for more and more spending as results become harder to get, while even the biggest businesses reach the feasible limit of what they can afford. Hardware gains also have played a huge part in the rapid growth of AI, and they might be a bottleneck to the expected intelligence explosion. There's also the problem of limited compute, even though we might be able to use it 10 times more efficiently, and the problem of complementarities, which says that even if 90% of a process is automated with AI, the 10% of human necessity will slow slow down the process incredibly. Some have also hypothesized that the unemployment that comes with automation in the first phase of the intelligent explosion will reduce demand for AI products and thus remove incentives for companies to do AI research. Microsoft co-founder Paul Allen argued the opposite of accelerating returns, the complexity break, which says that the more progress science makes towards understanding intelligence, the more difficult it becomes to make additional progress, potentially causing a slowdown or plateau in the future. This theory might be confirmed by the fact that the number of of new patents peaked in the period from 1850 to 1900 and has been declining since, even though this doesn't take into account how disruptive these discoveries were. People like Ramez Nam pointed out that we already see recursive self-improvement by superintelligences within companies such as Intel that have the collective brain power of tens of thousands of humans and probably millions of CPU cores to design better CPUs, yet this has not led to a discovery explosion. Lastly, if we lived in the 1940s, we could have guessed that humanity would have likely ended with the newly discovered nuclear weapons, but it didn't happen yet, which is why theories should always be taken with a grain of salt.